They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Creme against the greatest of the great and the best of the best. And when it is all over, only one anthem can play. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley, and this is Global Guts. And I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the globe. We're about to kick off our World Championship Games, but before we get to that, let's go to our referee, Mora Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo! Hello, Mike. With just five games remaining, Team USA is in third place with four golds. Germany's just behind with three, and Portugal has one gold medal. How will today's game affect the overall standings? Let's get underway and find out. All right, folks. Well, how can a player sky as high as Shaquille O'Neal? Well, in rebound, our Global Guts athlete's going to get an elastic cord on their back. They're going to go sky high. They're going to eat this basketball for a rebound. Well, not literally. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will have seven chances to grab as many rebounds as possible. The player with the most rebounds wins. On your mark, get set. All right, and so with that whistle, the first event here at Global Guts starts. Nobody got that rebound. Remember, they got to grab onto the rebound and bring it back for it to count. On your mark, get set. All right, and with that whistle, they go up again for another one. On the board, fighting for it. That's Jeremy in purple. He takes it back. Iris and Jeremy were fighting for that one. Jeremy took it back. On your mark, get set. With that whistle, they go up again, and it looks like again, blue and purple, ripping it down. Doesn't look like anybody took it back to the aerial bridge. Blue and purple really fighting it out. On your mark, get set. Up again. Who's going to grab it this time? It looks like blue. It has been a dogfight. Every single jump ball on this one. On your mark, get set. All right, the impressiveness is what you need to look for in this game. And again, oh, did you see that? Iris went up in blue, hit it. Jeremy slapped it back, took it back for himself. On your mark, get set. Who's gonna grab this one, folks? Sky high, they go up, and it looks like Iris from Germany takes it back. On your mark, get set. These folks don't slow down. Aggressive, quickly, strong. Oh, Iris grabbed another one. Let's go to Mo for the results, Mo. In first place, Iris taking three rebounds. In second place, Jeremy taking two. In third place, Angela taking zero. Well, the Jets turned on the turbo in rebound, went up very strong, grabbing this one and taking one point back. Look at blue and purple fighting for the bound. But in this event, fantastic. Learned how to use her elastic all the way from Germany. A little rebound, global gut style, sports fantasy, taking it back to the bridge and taking back 300 beans. Let's go to Mo for the lead of our Mo. Here, Mike, if in first place in our events is worth 300 points, that goes to Iris from Germany. In second place with 200 points, Jeremy from the USA. In third place with 100 points, Angela from Portugal. And folks, it is very simple. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events goes home the winner. But right now, it is time to meet a German great who's gunning for guts glory. She just got some bounds. Hey, fantastic. Spill your guts. Skerke from Leverkusen, Germany. I love track and field. I train four days a week in high jump, long jump, and sprints. 
This is an autographed picture of Heidi Heinkel. She's my sports hero. A good athlete shouldn't just think about winning, they should also have fun. Imagine riding the rocking waves of the pipeline, Hawaii's North Shore style. Well, in Skirp and Safari, you're going to get the chance because we're going to give you a skirt board, we're going to give you a rope, and you're going to be scamming some tube time on some Titanic waves. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will skirt across the pool, around the buoys, and back. They will high-five the spotter at the end of the pool to end the race, and time penalties are assessed for any missed buoys. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is fantastic, and she took over, rebound, and 300 points. She is in the lead, and she will set the pace. Making a nice turn, and heading back. She's got a good time. Very focused, remaining balanced, and not pulling that board out of the water. Very, very focused. Let's go to Mo and find out the results, Mo. Iris clocked in at 15.9 seconds. Up next will be Angela, and she is all the way from Portugal. Her nickname is The Eagle. We'll see what she can do. On your mark, get set. Well, The Eagle got to set her eye on 15.9. She goes into this event with 100 points. She's in third place. And a slight hesitation, and she didn't looks to have not gone around that last buoy. We'll have to get the official result from Mo, but she's a little hesitant coming in there. That goes to show you just how hard it is to control yourself and keep your focus while those waves are trying to push your board to the side. We'll find out the official result from Mo now. Mo. Angela clocked in at 19.9 .9 seconds. That includes one two-second penalty for missing a buoy. All right, so indeed, she did get a penalty for not going around that buoy. Up next will be Jeremy. Jeremy's nickname is The Jet. He's from the United States. He is in second place going into this event. On your mark, get set. All right, folks. Time to heave. Time to grunt. And let's be blunt. If you want to take home a blowing piece of the crag, you got to really hustle your way through these events and moving it along Skirford Safari with the stretch. Now, I don't know if he pulled his board out of the water. We will find out from Mo now. Mo. He did, Mike. Jeremy pulled his board out of the water, incurred a two-second penalty. His time was 15.5 seconds. But still puts him in first place, Iris in second place, and Angela in third place. So the eagle in red from Portugal was smoking in Skirp and Safari. She had great speed, and watch this turn of hers. Great control as she made the turn, but then she lost control. Her board and her balance was off. The nose of the board was in by that buoy, and she got a penalty right there. Jeremy the Jet wanted to come back for a first place finish, and true to his name, he went flying. Taking the board out, got a penalty, but he still got first. Let's check out the leaderboard, Mo. In first place now, tied in first place, are Iris from Germany and Jeremy from the USA with 500 points each. In third place is Angela from Portugal with 200 points. Two events down, we're just getting underway. When you come back, we got a little free kick, and our players are also going to be doing a little jump. Jump. Stick around. the world championship still up for grabs but first we're going to meet a portuguese powerhouse who is pursuing the gold hey eagle spill your guts hi i'm angela amira from lisbon portugal my favorite sports are basketball and soccer i like soccer because it's a team sport and you do a lot of running I love my country, so I want to tell the whole world that it's beautiful, fun, and the food is great. I'm here at Global Guts to represent Portugal and try to win. You think World Cup goalies have it tough? Well, in free kick, our players are going to have to defend every shot in the World Cup. They're just going to have 45 seconds, and they're going to be defending the goal alone. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. My players have 45 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons firing soccer balls at them, staying in their zone at all times. The player who makes the most saves wins. On your mark, get set. All right, 45 seconds of mayhem in free kick. And those soccer balls, you call them soccer balls, you call them footballs, they're flying at our players. 
Things to think about, the smart moves, good reflexes, agility, and concentration. As you see, Angela, that's right her, in the red, right there, in the middle. She's got her hands right up in front of him. Knocking him down, moving her feet. Blue and purple. Jeremy, the Jet, in purple, moving side to side. That's back to Angela. Our players keeping their hands up and trying to use all portions of their body, their head, their legs, their arms, their hands, and try to keep their breath in 45 seconds of bombardment. And that horn signals the end. Who got the most hits will go to Mo and find out. Mo. In first place was Jeremy making 38 saves. In second place, Iris making 23. And third place, Angela making 16. To get to the crag, you got to be bombarded by soccer ball after soccer ball. Look at the sheer number of balls that are flying at the eagle. Getting her hands up there to knock them down using her wrist, using her forearm. And Iris, fantastic. Concentration, look at her. Concentration in her eyes, knocking those out of the goal. Good defense for her. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, now Jeremy from the USA is in the lead with 800 points. In second place is Iris from Germany with 700 points. And third place, Angela from Portugal with 300 points. So two first place finishes in a row for Jeremy. And by standing out amongst the thousands who try it out across the U.S., Jeremy Simpson finds himself knocking at the door of a world championship. Hey, Jet, spill your guts. I'm Jeremy Simpson from Santa Cruz, California. My favorite sports are snow skiing, water skiing, and soccer. I also really love golf. The craziest thing I've ever done is jumped off a 75 foot cliff in Lake Pali, Utah. What I believe makes a good athlete is devotion, motivation, and the ability to play hard. Fourth event puts a little bump in your jump, a little monstrous hop in your vertical drop. It is called jump, jump. It's elastic sports. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, players must jump off the aerial bridge and then over two hurdles and touch the top of the opposite bridge before returning to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Iris from Germany. Fantastic elastic work here. Making it over the first two bars, hitting the mark, and then turning around. Let's see if she can keep the pace. She's got very long legs, but she's got a nice tuck form there. Putting her feet up by her chin almost. Coming across, not knocking down any bars. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Iris clocked in at 17.9 seconds. So right there for Iris, a great combination of endurance maximum lift and the concentration to push over those bars. Getting up next will be Angela. On your mark, get set. All the way from Portugal. Up and over. She needs a good finish in this one. Oh, they're knocking that bar off. That'll be a penalty. She's going to have to get back up on the aerial bridge because the clock will keep running. Going to have to pick up the pace. This is when I talked about endurance. Can't get worn out from that first run. She's got to return. She goes underneath the fourth bar and coming up to the aerial bridge, that'll stop the clock. <laughs> she had a good time on that one, though. She's cracking up. Elastic sports are a blast. Let's go to Mo. Angela clocked in at 33.7, including two hurdle penalties of five <laughs> seconds each. Yeah, well, she got a little elastic sports fantasy going sky high, hurdling like a horse. Looks like Jeremy's up. On your mark. Get set. All right, the Jet is our leader going into this event. He has 800 points, and he is in front of Iris by 100 points. So he's got to beat that time at 17.9. He's going to have to pick up his long legs. Nice pop. And up and over. It's going to be very close. Up the bridge. This is her first place. Oh, with the stretch, the Jet. Go to move. Jeremy clocked in at 17.1 seconds, which puts him in first place, Iris in second place, and Angela in, in third place. We got pressure going down to the wire. Iris with great form. She went first. She set the pace. Look at her jumping right over those bars and back up in the aerial bridge. Jeremy the Jet had to then try to beat that time. Look at this, look at this man's form. He's like 35, like 90 feet in the air almost. He's 
up there and with the lean and the stretch, working it right up there with the touch and just slipping in there. Beautiful work for him. And I just happened to talk to him yesterday during practice. We had a little kickback time back in the locker room. Here's what we talked about. Folks, this is Jeremy from California, and he's a little bit of a crazy man. He just so happens he jumped off a 75-foot cliff. You want to talk to me about this? Well, um, it all started when me and my friends were on vacation at Lake Powell, Utah, and we just saw the cliff and decided to jump off it. And you lived? Yes, we did. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> That's guts right here. Now, don't try that at home. Guts. Well, the jet is a madman, and with four events down, we got one more to go. But first, we got the leaderboard. Mo. Here it is, Mike. Jeremy from the USA is still in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Iris from Germany with 900 points. In third place, Angela from Portugal with 400 points. All right, folks. No more messing around. I'm going to fall off the mountain. You stick around. I'm climbing the bag. Go back. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Global Guts, the Extreme Arena, ready to rock for this, our final event. Three players from three countries battling it out for one piece of the glowing rock and Guts gold. And let me remind you, as our world-class athletes get psyched to conquer the crag, that our players, they are competing for points which have skyrocketed. Third place being worth 375, second 550, first place a whopping 725. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo. Mike, after four events, Jeremy from the USA is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place is Iris from Germany with 900 points. And in third place with 400 points, Angela from Portugal. Before the crag, our players take a four-event warm-up, getting into it. Iris goes high for the rebounds. Extremely aggressive, showing how strong she was in this event. She took first place in rebound elastic sports style, eating that back up. Look at Jeremy and Iris were battling out for first place all day long. Angela with great turning motion right here in Scurf and Safari, but her board, as we showed you before, sunken right down by that buoy that slowed her time. And Iris digging it along. Look at her concentration and her arm strength. Those muscles in her arms, pulling herself along that rope and getting her a good finish. But Jeremy, the madman in free kick, nothing free about it. This was hard-earned points, battling with all parts of his body, as was Angela, getting in there, hustling, knocking those balls down from out of the goal, taking home some points. And Jeremy had to beat a very quick time that Iris had set. She was, he was attacking, she was attacking, and right now the competition is about to heat up even more because right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the super aggro crag. First, it was the aggro crag, then it was the mega crag. Now, folks, our players will take on the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with new surprises and more obstacles than ever before. Players will begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll on top of our players. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. All the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? Let's go to Mo. Mo! Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on around the globe, it all comes down to this last piece of work, the super aggro crag. Which country's flag will fly at the top? Germany, Portugal, or USA? Let's go get it started with Mo. On your mark, get set. So it all comes down to this. The blistering blast of venomous vapor slowing down our players at Boulder Canyon. Iris looks a lit, little bit dismayed at the Boulder Canyon. And as the nuclear flying crystals come down on our players, they're going to try to find their way through switch back bend. The rocks come tumbling down. It looks to be the 
Mike Jeremy is in the lead. Jeremy in purple from the USA. The sheet of snow down on top. Jeremy at the top alone. He locks in first. It looks like Angela missed an actuator. She's got to go back down. And Iris will lock in second. A little global unity at the top of the Super Agro Crag as our players congratulate one another. And Angela comes in third. What an event. Let's go. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Jeremy from the USA. Both Angela from Portugal and Iris from Germany missed an actuator and didn't go back, which gives both of them an automatic third place. So the jet jamming his way up there as we see the eagle hit the actuators and trying to find her way through switchback bend. Vapors, smoke, fallen rocks, nuclear flying crystals, snow. We got it all for you on the super aggro crack. And right here, the jet in purple to the right of your screen. He was at the top of the ice wall. The other players, blue and red, also there. The suffering sheet of snow coming down on top, but the jet jamming his way to the top, locking in that final actuator and victory for the Jets. Look at that man, number one. He was today. Let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here it is, Mike, in third place today with 775 points, Angela from Portugal. In second place with 1,275 points, Iris from Germany. Our winner today, Jeremy from the USA with 1,825 points. And so, the Eagle in red will be receiving the bronze medal and turning around and giving some hugs to her competitors here today, taking back that bronze all the way to Portugal. She came here to compete, proud of her unique talents. Iris from Germany to the Extreme Arena. She won in rebound, getting up the crag and taking the silver medal. But the gold, go to the Jet Jeremy. Victor in three events, plus the crag, our fourth and final event. Putting up number ones all around. He's going to take back home a glowing piece of our radical rock. And you are hearing the national anthem of the United States of America. Because Jeremy from Team USA, the Jet, comes to the Extreme Arena and will go home with the piece of the crag. He's number one for today. And all three of these players take a well-deserved victory lap. They wrap their country's flags around their shoulders. Listen to the extreme arena. Roar. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. <laughs>